Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. You are watching World Dragon Media and we are continuing with our gameplay of The Last Train Home. We left off last time, we have recently left Moscow and we are trying to put things back together. We have a rickety old falling apart train and we are doing the best we can to get ourselves ready for the long journey of Vladivostok. We have just reached our second town in this current area, what is chapter 2, and we've received a report. You receive a report from one of your soldiers. It is an intelligence obtained when chatting to a local while the train was making a stop. The report claims the Reds have a large camp where they are training newly enlisted soldiers. Apparently, many are queuing for hours in order to join up. The report concludes... They promise the farm is a helping hand from the military to tend their farms. There are so few people left to work because of the war. It's letting the food rot on the field or joining the Reds. The very end of the report is an approximate location of the camp. Oh. We were told not to get involved. However, uh, where is this camp then? Okay, there's the Red Army camp. It is going to be a dangerous mission. We'll see how I feel when we get there. At the moment, we are in town. Ah, and there is a pub. Which will cost me a lot of gold. It cost me 320, but it will sort out the morale... Of those four people left, by the looks of it, who are still disheartened. I'm actually going to leave for now. I assume I can go back in a second. We'll see what's going on. The train composition is not going to change. We haven't had any big upgrades. And the merchant, what are you selling? Uh, we don't need any weapons. I think I'm good for what they're selling. I think I'm okay. Uh, we are hopefully going to get some more food and medicine and maybe some other supplies. Unknown what we end up finding. Same again here. Some food from here. And we have a chance to go to the pub. And there is a... just a merchant. Um, doesn't really tell me what kind of merchant. It's always interesting. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is, like I said, I don't think particularly, I mean, we always need stuff, don't get me wrong, uh, but I don't think we've particularly got much that we can do. Okay, so no, these are, it says by soldiers used in squads, but... That's because I haven't actually assigned all of my soldiers to squads. So I should be very careful about the weapons I sell. I now get what that means. And yeah, I think we're just going to move on. But what I'm going to do is, before we do, we want hunters, survivalists, and herbalists. Let's select the squad. Um... We have an Avarice character. Let us edit the squad. We are going to remove the Avarice character. We have a Hunter. Let's add the Survivalist. And let's add... Ah! He is also our Herbalist. Um, okay. So we're going to send the Hunter, Survivor, and Herbalist. And firm. Right, let us... Deploy this squad. Uh, this guy needs a rest. Unfortunately, he's also my only merchant. And select squad. It's basically going to be this squad. Ah, we're looking pretty good. The cost is three. Yeah, let's deploy that squad. Done. And then I'm going to have the train... Out to about here whilst they're doing that and let us start from the station 
Let's keep moving. And whilst we're moving, let's have a quick look at what upgrades I can do. Is it worth doing any... Increase the chance of work accidents in occupation slots by 50%. Raised walls will increase the inventory of the train. Okay, well, let's pause. That's all good by me. Uh, sturdy materials. This is the chance of the train car malfunctioning by 30%. Oh, we have lost a bit of durability. Interesting. Um... I am very tempted. Let's see what else we've got though. Um, I mean, my storage is really not a problem at this stage. We scrap the chance of rat infestation status by 10%. Increases the capacity. I mean, we've got so much capacity, it's a little bit ridiculous. We have made this car a little bit more comfortable. Uh, if we can get a bit more wood. We can add three more additional living spaces again, and um, this will make this car the very nice car. Obviously, we do want to split things around a little bit, but it's also worth. Increases durability repair speed by 30%. Increases durability repair. Reduces. Yeah. Increases the maximum durability of the train car by 200 points. Um, I am leaning towards improved insulation. Use one fuel item per three hours. Only two fuel per two fuel per three hours. Three full fuel per three hours. One fuel item per three hours. Ah, okay. Then we get that's that's what makes it more efficient. Temperature of the train car by one level. Two levels in total. Well, we uh it's difficult to decide whether we kind of split up the roles of the cars, you know, make one morale, make one a slightly warmer car for now, maybe focus on doing two cars. Or whether we put it all into one car. I think for now. Making sure the train keeps moving is extremely important. Increases the chance of work accidents in occupation slots by 50%. I mean, if you not have injured people, that's fantastic. I don't know how often it happens to begin with, though. Increase the chance of the train car malfunctioning by 30%. I mean, I like how we've got that on all the train cars. I'm not quite sure how a living space can malfunction. But, you know, hey, I'll, I'll go with it. I think it's going to take two minutes. Our guys are going to be long gone longer than that. Um, let's add that for the wood. We should hopefully get some more wood soon. Uh, assign workers. You. Uh, yep, yeah, no, just mm. you. And that will take three minutes ten. These guys are both on their way out. You know, that's fine. Let's have just have one person doing it. However, it sounds they can use they can use their stamina, and we'll we'll keep the rest. Keep the rest as is. Rat infestation, of course. Problems to the car. Mm -hmm. Chance of the train car malfunctioning. Can we upgrade two of them? Or do I focus on... One of them for now. I think we'll leave that as is. Go back to the world map and we'll keep time going again. I mean, these guys, they're a good five minutes out, so we've got plenty of time 
will be doing this kind of stuff. And by the looks of it, a minute is basically an hour. It's the uh, easiest way to look at it. Hopefully we get some nice resources here as well. Uh, not too fussed by food and cloth, to be honest with you. I need some, uh, some metal and wood, to be honest. Although, hang on a minute. More to the point. We could probably start getting someone doing this, because then we can meet them further along. At the moment, I'm kind of just wasting time. Um, we need everybody, though. I need, like, both of my squads I've sent out to uh, do these ones, to be honest. But yeah, all, all of the skills that we have on the go <laughs> involves all of those squad members. So, of course, we could do them, but we'll get very little, basically, from them. Um... Yeah, no, we'll we'll do as we're doing. Uh, we'll deploy them from here. And then we'll potentially get them to come back to town. I mean, that's a hell of a walk, mind you. Merchants at a timber place. It, no, it's night time. There are wolves. Um, I wonder if it makes a difference as well in terms of how big of a squad you send. Explore. Well, that's going to take a minute. Uh, forage. Gathered what was usable. Maximum has the knowledge, but there was nothing to find this time. That's a shame. As survivalist. Camille had Drabo was really helpful. We wouldn't have been found nearly as much if he hadn't been there. It affected because he had herbalist. Nice, we got 80 extra herbs. Wouldn't have had any otherwise. And we got 28 food, which is another day's worth of food, almost. Uh, you guys obviously need to then... Back to the train. I press play. You have just ranked up again. Okay, you've been promoted. Uh... Yeah, so we want fitness and willpower. Critical health, work efficiency of workers and engineers, some combat skills. Hmm. Go for fitness again. I'm actually happy that uh, report ready it was as empty as it looked from afar but the only that left some things behind here's what we found with coal which made everyone happy because there was never enough fuel as a trait burglar turns out was right and some people really do hide cigars in the support beams and spirits close to the chopping block ah we got some vodka and we got some cigarettes and we also got 16 fuel um not a lot, to be honest. I mean... Yes. Uh, return to the train. Although I say that, actually. Oh no, wrong way around, damn it, because you're down here. Squad 1, if they were the other round, I would have said squad 1, squad 1 there. Although, hang on as well, actually... Reroute squad two. Why have you come back to the train when you could have just gone straight there? I've, I've been stupid. Uh, cost of three to get back to the train from there. Hopefully I can decrease that a little bit. I mean, because this is unfortunately, I don't have the skills for it, but this one does and this one does. I think I'm just going to have to take the hit. Um, so I could... I 
just reroute to there and get someone else to go there in the meantime once the train is closer. Not a terrible idea either. Uh, we do have a tired soldier. Yes, we do. I just want to all the tribute. Status removal the soldier's stamina is above 50%. Try not to get them exhausted. What is your stamina? 23. Okay. None of these actually improve stamina, do they? Looks at some combat skills. No. I assume it would have been fitness if it was any of them. Oh, it's 23 stamina and that's all you get. Oh, fuh. We ticked over to friggin' night time. Uh, okay, well now... Hmm. We are gonna double you guys up, quite frankly, because our squad is here in 32 seconds. So, anybody else that's... There you go. 35 seconds, that'll do. <laughs> hey, I remember that nighttime shift. Oh, fishing's going to take two minutes. Okay. Hopefully that shouldn't cost them any stamina, though, so that's that's fine. The taste of my own medicine changed me. Okay. As you're reading through reports, you notice a blood stain on one of the papers. You look to see where it came from. You notice blood behind your fingernails. It hits you. You've been scratching yourself for a few hours now. You discover a rash on your hands, armpits, and hips. A doctor is ushered in. Oh, no. Scabies, Major. There was little chance of getting rid of the scabies, given our situation. Um... Rub the train and everything in it. Well, the clothing, bedding, and other textiles found on the train are gathered and washed. A lot of effort is spent on dusting and wiping every surface. The train is almost speckless, and the soldiers, though exhausted and cold, are proud of their work. Sadly, maintaining this level of hygiene is difficult. The scabies soon returns, but the stunt resulted in some good memories. Well, that's not good. Uh, so morale went up, mostly across the board, which is fantastic. However, health and stamina took a big hit as well. Um, proceed. So we've got nobody who's depressed anymore. Which is fantastic. Uh, you start moving to the next area. Our general morale is now 72. We have two tired soldiers. Uh, you are resting. We just need to make sure we don't send you back out, which is going to be a shame because you have one of the traits I need. For this place, basically. An obstruction ahead. It seems that a large tree has fallen on the tracks. We need to remove it. Can't risk any damage. Ten morale up. Ten morale down. Okay. That's fine. The front of the train can be damaged. Just the order of the cars accordingly. Okay. Play the track. Take me two minutes. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do from here is we are going to edit the squad. Uh, you're the guy I need for that skill. You are going to be removed. Uh, you are going to stay because you're simply there to make up the numbers. And I don't think anyone else has any useful skills. No, it's just you, but you are tired. So, does anybody have high stamina, etc.? We shall send... Uh, we're going to send you now. Boom. Well, in fact, actually, uh, edit squad. Now, this is the whole thing of... How good... Uh, no, you have another job. You have jobs. Uh, you guys were my repair crews. Um, 
medical health, rank, morale, stamina. Oh, so they are in the order of stamina. Uh, I'm going to actually send you as well. Ah, oh, wait, cancel. Sorry, you're currently busy. You. And see if that helps at all. I mean, obviously... I don't know if it will. Um, having a, I don't know if having a bigger squad helps with the results for these kind of things. But uh, we'll, we'll find out, basically. It has a minute and a half, so the next thing is the fishing trip. We'll finish at some point. Food, we have a couple of days. Fuel, we have almost none. Um, cost me 36 fuel to get to the next town. How much would I need to get to the end? 207. Okay, that's uh, going to be a problem. Report ready. The lake was full of fish. Fortunately, Maximilian Drap was with us. It was like magic. Maximilian was able to pull one fish after another, making our trip a great success. Perfect, because he has a trait. Herbalist. Also found some herbs. So we got 20 extra herbs and we got 20 food. Divided equally among the soldiers. Ah, oh, no, so that gets divided equally. Okay. And so from there, my other tired soldier, what are you on? You're on nine. Um, select squad. Travel cost two. Travel cost one because they're actually a lot closer. Let's reroute you. And then it probably cost me about three to uh, get back to the train. I think the closest point is actually about where I've gone and indicated. So let's see what this... Oh, it's a Red Stanovich steam mill. And maybe some fuel? Um, if it's a mill, probably lots of cloth, I would assume. Squad 1, explore. It's going to take a minute. Let's keep everything else moving. The merchant. Uh, oh no, just food. Although food is always good. Let's... Uh, wait, cancel. Grab nearly another day's worth of food. Um, yeah, I'd happily leave it at that. Except trade. Got another day's worth of food for that. Um, start coming back to the train, I suppose. Hoping I can reduce that three to a two. <laughs> we'll find out. I'm guessing probably not, because I'm guessing it's maybe one stamina per minute. So obviously if you're in the first minute, it's it's a stamina. If you're in a second minute, it's two stamina. And I was definitely in the third minute, and I don't think resolve. Port ready. But there was an accident and Andre Razek got hurt. Yes, I can see that. Continue. Minus 31 health. Proceed. I don't suppose this man is in this car, is he? Oh, most of these have lost a little bit of health, but they should all recover. Um, it does not look like Henri is in this car. So I'm going to get rid of you. Try and remember your face. Got it. Um, there's Henri. Let's switch for... Was mildly bearded. This guy. Hmm. Then we can go back to here and grab Henri, the man who is about to die. Minus one health per hour. Now this car, however, gives me plus one health per hour. So he is on 
56. Let's keep an eye on him, basically. And multi point, actually, just before we go. Um, yeah, I think happy with that. I mean, we could do with. Yeah, this guy's health pretty good. Looks like that health does go up in a car anyway. Um, rest and regain stamina. So, not regain anything else, apparently, I think. Uh, yeah, you guys are all. You regain everything by the looks of it when you're in a car. I assume so. I mean, it says it's going up. I can only assume. So let's uh, let's go back to the world map. Let's move on to the next area. I think a little bit closer, basically. Yeah, let's look at that tick down. That's beautiful. Ah, report ready. Place it was empty as it looked from far. Here's what we found. Those and curtains that we could use to cut some bandages or to pad the walls of the cars when the cold sets in. 122 cloth. Fantastic. Uh, you guys can then obviously come back to the car. Press play. Move a little bit further forward. Time did drop very nicely for these guys. You are on seven. Uh. Oh, so what have we got? Shaken soldiers. Oh. Received 12 hours of cumulative rest. Fair enough. Health 58. He was on 56. Health 57. Okay, well, uh, let's wait for the guys to get back. Nice. So she's no longer exhausted. Let us keep going to the next area. 57. It changes every minute or so. I would tell you about one fight club, but I can't. Fifty-eight. Yeah, let's just see how he is when we get to town. There is a doctor. Mm -hmm. Taste of my own medicine changed me. We have one tired soldier. His stamina should be going up. The shaken soldier and the injured soldier are the same person. His health is going up. Idle soldiers, promoted soldiers, and soldiers with improved roles ready to go. Captain Langer comes to your quarters with all the military decorum the protocol requires. After knocking on your door, he announces his name and rank and requests permission to enter. You feel he's testing you, waiting for you to judge you based on how you react. Um, you may enter, Captain. As Langer enters, you salute, a gesture that he mirrors. He remains standing to attention until you order him to be at ease, and prompt him to speak. His expression remains neutral, giving you no indication if you meet his standards or not. There's an opportunity here that you should. Manga is quick to realize his slip of the tongue, and he corrects himself. Rather, you might find it important. According to the posters and the locals, many nearby villagers are looking for help. The war has depleted the workforce in this region. The Reds are taking advantage of this to gain new followers and to pull people over to their side. We might want to try this too. Find a village and mark it on the map. I've already found such a village. You mark the location on your map. Permission to leave, Major. You grant him permission, he salutes again and leaves. Proceed. Okay, let's stay paused. Okay. Recommended squad size 6. Uh, we'd obviously get some medals, fuel, metal, and cloth. The mission will take eight stamina. And there's, of course, travel cost, which is two either way, which makes an up to 12 stamina. That pretty much takes people out. 
of going right now. This guy. Um, other people that would be suitable for this job. It's definitely not going to be you. And everyone's pretty much on a 70%. Let's have a look at you. He is lucky. All chance to insta-kill an enemy. I quite like that. You are the night guy. And you are one of my nurses. Although you're not really much good as a nurse at the moment. Because... Sign to the shift. I want you to rest up as much as possible. It's going to take a while. How much do you have to get to lose that? 80%. Yeah, probably another... We'll take him to another rotation, and then mm -hmm. we shall put him on the next day shift, basically. Okay, so with that, let's go back to the world map view here. We can I could heal him for 200. Oh, only 100, actually. That is actually a bit, quite a bit. I'll come back to you. <laughs> Train composition, again, nothing really to change. I will love it when I can get another train car. We do have some resources. We have some cloth available, five of it, but we have quite a bit of that anyway. We have four first aid kits and 20 medical kits. Right then. I think, have a look at this mission. Let's select a squad. Let's display. Band these two squads. Create a new squad. And right, so you are definitely coming along. You are my rifleman. And what else do we have? Uh, wow, my medics are both... Or are all, I should say, really low on stamina. Um, do I risk it without a medic? It says it's only a one skull danger. That will send you. Well, busy. Damn it. And you as my machine gunner. Thrill seeker, charismatic, thrill seeker, thrill seeker. Short. We're going to take our short guy. Um, I mean, all of these guys, 20 stamina. We're going to lose 12 stamina. So that's they're all going to be tired, basically, by the time we're finished. But it is quite a big hit. We're going to take you. So we've got three. But also, you're, you're available as a scout. I'll keep you as a... Uh, yeah, we'll keep you as a rifleman. The rest of the guys, I think I'm going to leave to rest. <sighs> Recommended squad size six. We're going in with four. We're doing it. This could be a terrible decision. I'm going to press F5. Because the joy is that you can uh I don't know if that worked. We're gonna we're gonna save the game. We're gonna deploy that squad. So whilst you guys are off deploying to there, uh what I might do is Well no I can get that on the way out and obviously I don't want to really move the train at this point. Um I'm going to look at is if there are any more upgrades to be had. Uh, repairs and upgrades. Whilst these guys are doing what they do, we could raise the walls for an extra 1500. But then how does that compare to my storage cart if I just do shells? For the same cost and it gets me 2000. So probably better focus on that. That costs me 50 metal. Now, metal, of course, is my uh, my much-valued resource at this point. 
Um, if we go to my map, there's a Timberland, which should, it's going to cost me a bit of stamina, but will be able to get me a lot of timber back. So that's always a good thing. Um, I think we might improve the insulation of this car for now, and then we'll do it on the second car afterwards. Um, although as well, actually, we can't. Additional living spaces costs a bit more wood. Do I save for that instead? No, I th I'm going to risk it. I reckon I can get up to 100 from the timber area. So we're going to improve the insulation. Because it's a free temperature increase of 1, basically. And if I assign some workers, uh, we are simply going to go for... I'm just going to go for you. You have the highest stamina. It's going to take you four minutes. That's fine. It's going to take these guys that long to get there and back. Uh, okay. We are, however, about to move on to the... Do you know what? In fact, so what I'm going to do... And on the day shift, I'm going to stick you. That'll keep the repair going without me having to pay any attention. And I think that's good. And in fact, what I'm going to do is if I go to the merchant, use for crafting and research in times of need can be diminished for fuel. I am actually... I don't know how important these things are. Boom. We'll trade. Basically give me a hundred. I'm going to accept that trade. And then I can use that gold in a different merchant to maybe get some other stuff. Because this guy doesn't have too much. So uh, we'll see what we do. Let's speed that up, because that's all we're waiting on. As we almost get there, we have one injured and shaken are the same. The tired shoulder... Soldier is resting. That's great. That's all good. Uh, although, hang on, let's let's pause a second. Promoted soldiers. Okay, he has leveled up his grenadier skill. Um, he's not on the mission, which is good. Because it would have been a bit silly for him to be. Um, he is a grenadier, which is a fitness and intelligence role. So we are going to give him his one extra to intelligence then. Put those both up to five. And if we look at available roles, we should have a few more things as well. Uh, we can give him job of a mach of the engineer, which we are going to do. Boom. Um, not quite sure how we do things like getting worker experience. It helps stoke... Um, I suppose maybe... Oh, he had both of those. That's fine. I suppose maybe one way of looking at it is if we go to Soldier Overview. We look at someone like you, who is... Uh, you are... No, you're just a... Although, yeah, there you go. We're getting work experience. Because he is uh, he's doing work, basically. Uh, who have we got? Are any of... Who's my... Roles. Um, engineers. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's my driver. Look at him. Almost got level two. Fantastic. There's my other engineer who's currently off the job because he's injured. But he is performing fantastically. Right. Now we are going to jump into... Right, we're not quite going to jump into this mission because I've just realized it is time to end the episode. So when we come back, we are going to start this mission with a four-man squad for a recommended six-man squad mission. It is only difficulty one out of four, though. So, I don't know. Let's just hope, folks. And if you are still with me at this point, thank you all very much for joining me. It's always a pleasure to play these games and it's always a pleasure when you enjoy them 
And if you are still here at this point, please do hit that like button and chuck something down in the comments down below. I do love to hear from you. And of course, it does help promote the videos. And until next time, thank you all very, very much for joining us. And no matter where you may be, as for always, just remember, stay safe, stay happy and stay healthy.